So in this one, we're going to be creating social anchor tags for your actual sharing of content. So the anchor tags are going to be like share it to Facebook or share it on Twitter, and it's just going to be an anchor tag. We're not going to actually integrate into these services, meaning we're not going to create apps and get you know app keys and all that to actually do a real full-on integrated share, but instead it'll just be a two-click share. That is, they'll click once on the link and then one more time to finish off the share on that specific service. So if you go to joincfe.com slash guides, you'll take us into the guides and we're gonna to go to the social sharing links um, with anchor tags. So the first one is Facebook. This one's really easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and we're gonna go into Sublime Text and we're gonna paste it into our post detail. Paste it right underneath the content and I'm gonna do it with the other ones too. So I'm gonna grab the, share, the Twitter one um, I'm also going to grab the Google Plus one and the LinkedIn one and finally the Reddit one. All right, and then I'm actually going to move these above the content itself just so we can see it at first. Cool. So let's go ahead and go back. I refresh in here and it looks like I might have accidentally moved the div to close out or I cut it. So let's add the div back in. There we go, get rid of that, okay. All right, so now we've got these shares and I'm just gonna call it Facebook, Twitter, and so on. There we go. So now if I click on these links, it will actually take me to share. So like Facebook, it's saying a login, uh, but it would actually share it. Twitter is also gonna say login. Every single one's gonna say logged in to do it, uh, but it is how it's gonna work. So to first off, we wanna change out all of the links to being the actual page that we're at. And to do that, we just do URI. And if I refresh there, it's gonna give me that entire link as to where it is. So I'm gonna replace this into all the areas that I need it. So here, um, here, so anywhere I see Coding for Entrepreneurs or the URL, that's where I'm going to replace it. All right. And in some of it is Swift for Entrepreneurs. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's actually create a string that is URL encoded. That is like right here. Actually, if we look at the guide itself, it'll show you. Um, we see that we need to make URL encoded text. So it's gonna look, it's gonna end up looking like that. But here, it, it went, once it's rendered and once it's on Twitter, it's gonna look like I'm gonna learn how to code, come code with me, blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's go ahead and change our description or the content that is coming from it to URL encoded content. So we'll go into our views, and we're at the very top, we're gonna to import a Python library called URL lib. So from URL lib, import quote underscore plus. So this is going to turn our, our string into a share string. So I'm gonna just call this share string equals to URL quote plus, and we'll do instance.content. All right, so share string is that, and we'll put that in here. So now in our post detail, we are also gonna put that um, at the very top, just so we can see what it looks like. So share string, let's go back into our detail page. Share string doesn't look a whole lot different, so let's actually edit this so we can actually see it look different. And I'm just gonna add um, something like, let's add some of our actual code in there. So I'm just gonna go in here like this, and paste that in there. And now if we see it, uh, it looks quite a bit different, right? That's uh, not, not that friendly of actual text. So I'm gonna copy this one. And there we go. So that's our text, down here is our text, and here's our URL encoded version of it, uh, as you see. And of course you can play around with the actual content itself being something more like, here is some content and just copying and pasting that all the way through, hit create post, and there it is. So it actually just changes it slightly. Since it's URL encoded, what that means is we can change this for all of the places it'll need to be, such as status on Twitter. We can change that to being this. 
and I'm going to leave that percent 20 at the very end. Percent 20 is just going to be a space for it. Um, and then also just down here, so title, you can do it in every sort of place, but I'm not going to really go through every part of it. Instead, I'll just do um, instance.title here. And then finally, the last one is going to be that as well. There we go. So that's going to create those share links for us. And it's really simple. Um, it's just an easy way to kind of share this stuff. So something you might be wondering is like, how do we make a template filter to actually make it URL encoded? Um, so something like the time sense filter. So if I did time sense here, it would change the timestamp into how long ago that actually happened versus um, anything else. So in the next one, we'll actually do a custom filter that will make any text into URL encoded text. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.